I'm going to show you how to uh, reassemble a lens assembly from a Canon A4000 camera. We have all the parts laid out in the order of reassembly from my right to left. And um, we're going to start uh, with the uh, after these parts have been all replaced or repaired, whichever ones needed to be um, fixed. And so now we're going to start putting the lens back together again. We're going to start with our um, secondary indexing group and that consists of our secondary indexing rotating indexing ring our secondary indexing sleeve and the sleeve retainer plate so we're going to start by looking at this from the front and putting our indexing tabs into the uh, these little tabs on the edge here into the clockwise most grooves parallel grooves here of our insertion grooves there's three sets of parallel insertion grooves here and we have to put this into the clockwise set that's the only set that goes through from the front to the back and so there we go so that's in there and now we're going to lock the lock it in place with our retaining ring and if you notice on this retaining ring their tabs are closer together here these two tabs are closer these two are further apart so we're going to look on our indexing ring and find uh, the position where the tabs are the closest and that looks like these two tabs right here and so we're going to um, orient those with our two closer tabs on our locking ring and that's this right here and so we're gonna get this into place here by lining it up with our retaining tabs and then pushing that down so that they, all the four of those tabs lock in place now then our, our um, sleeve will rotate inside of our, our indexing secondary indexing ring now we're going to have to orient this these two rings in order to insert our aperture assembly and our secondary zoom lens or power lens assembly and so what we're going to do is look on the bottom here and find a position where we have a letter on one of these tabs and that looks like this letter, like this position right here. This letter looks like it's right there. I'm just going to double check it. Yeah. Okay, it says A on this one, but it might differ on yours. Um, so now we're going to keep that A off to my, my right here, lower right. And you can see I'm I, coming around where this indexing window opens up on the front here. So I'm going to keep these two edges of the indexing ring and the indexing sleeve lined up and then kind of hold it in place here with my fingers until I can get my aperture assembly in place here and so I got those two edges lined up with this letter tab off to my um, counterclockwise direction or off to my right and um, what I'm going to do is insert this so that the aperture cable is right underneath that um, letter tab and once I get it in that position I'm going to push it into its um, tracking grooves here and push it down all the way and then I'm going to rotate this sleeve in the clockwise direction till the next set of indexing grooves here and um, that's right there and I'm gonna just gonna so now I'm going to insert my secondary zoom lens or power lens but if you notice on this there's a a little raised tab here on the front of the housing here that little raised tab is going to go over our metal pin on our aperture um, assembly. So that little raised tab is going to have to go over this one tracking pin that's metal. The other two are plastic. So these are the two plastic pins. This is a metal pin. And so we're going to get that little raised hump right over that. And it should line up with our 
indexing grooves here. Push that in all the way and continue rotating this sleeve clockwise direction. And you can see that it's still flush. I'm clockwise as far as I can go on my sleeve now, but it's still flush with the front end. So what I have to do is push that down about a sixteenth of an inch to get it into its tracking grooves. Now I'm going to hold the the uh, indexing ring by its tabs here and rotate the indexing sleeve counterclockwise as far as I can go. And that's the direction where everything is locked in place now and re ready to reassemble into uh, my next group. The next group is consists of my secondary extender ring and my front lens carrier. Now these these two go together and only one. Now you can see that these two assemblies fit together here. Now what I'm going to do is insert my I'm going to face this towards me, the top towards me where it says Canon zoom zoom lens on it. I'm going to face that towards me and I'm going to face that's the top and I'm going to face this secondary indexing um, group with this little hole in our retaining ring. Um, that's facing towards the top and with my aperture cable off to my upper left here so I'm going to insert that into the into our into my grooves here tracking grooves and then I'm going to push up a little bit on this and then rotate this in the clockwise direction rotate these two tabs on my secondary indexing ring as far clockwise as I can go that'll retract my primary lens carrier into my secondary extender ring. Now that's ready to go into our um, into our primary extender ring which is uh, consists of has a ring gear on it. So I'm going to drop that in place keeping everything oriented uh, with the top facing towards me Make sure I have this in the right orientation here. Okay. Sixteenth of an inch here. Okay, that's the position where it's going to go into its tracking groove or tracking slots and push it down so everything's locked into place there. Now I'm going to install my um, primary indexing ring. And I'm going to, I know that the top is towards me is uh, when I have this um, interrupter tab towards me and also this has a rub tab on it for the um, aperture cable and so it's only going to go in, in one direction like that and now we're ready to insert this whole assembly into our um, into our front lens housing, or I mean our outer housing, and this tab has to go into our interrupter slot here, this uh, interrupter tab, so I know that this is going to go in in this position. Now I've got to rotate this indexing ring over to get, get it into its um, tracking slots, or its locking slots and that looks like just about it right there okay now our indexing and what I'm going to do is rotate this a little bit in the counter the ring gear a little bit in the counterclockwise direction to lock everything in place until we get it our, our next um, uh, assembly our back plate on and our motor housing on. okay so now we can put our back plate on, in place First of all, we have to put our aperture cable through the slot here and bring it out to the bottom here.
Okay, now our back plate's in place. And we're going to insert our screws here. And like I said before, one of them's underneath the uh, aperture cable. I mean the uh, CCD cable, the corner of the CCD cable. So just lift up on that a little bit and hold constant pressure on these screws until everything is uh, in place. And insert our pinion gear into our front housing, our outer housing. Our and rotate the gear housing and the extender motor down onto its tabs here into its um, indexing pins and then put that screw in place and all we have left to do now is um, insert our cable into its, our aperture cable into its socket here. And so just push that down until we get it lined up with the socket here. And what I'm going to do is kind of hold that down here and line it up with a small screwdriver till I get it um, in place. And then I'm going to lock the tab down on it. And and uh, this will fit on a, a, a retaining pin and it's held in place by double sided tape so you can just kind of push that down. So there's our lens assembly ready to go back into our camera and hope once we get it in the camera everything will work again. And that's it.